guys. So this is my first get ready with me. Yay! It's not going to be the last if you like these type of videos. So I am on my way to the club. And I'm going to a new club at the park. Well, it's not a club. It's like a lounge. Um, I'm on my way to, it's called um, On The Record. It's this new lounge at Park Imagium here in Las Vegas, of course. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to go there. I haven't been out in, like, forever, forever, and ever. I used to be that girl that was out all the time. But, I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't went out in months. So, I'm just getting ready. And I technically have, like, 45 minutes <laughs> to... I have like 45 minutes to be dressed and on my way out the door so let's get started okay. I hope you guys like these kind of videos because they seem like just chill and that's what I want and right now I'm about to start with my eyebrows I'm gonna use my Kat Von D um, brow powder this is dark brown so the only reason I'm starting on brows right now is because I don't know what I want to do with this look. So, while I'm doing my brows, I can think about it. It's new with you guys. What's, like, going on? Like, new with life? Like, any life-changing moments? Or any new things that are going on? I would love to hear about them. Me and my life? nothing really i'm just so upset right now because i freaking wrecked my car on black ice so if you don't know i live in las vegas and for the last three or four days it's been helling snowing it's insanely cold like people think vegas is all year round no so we do have like cold months and cold is like right now outside is um let's see it's like 39 degrees that's cold and on new year's eve it was 22 degrees so we do get cold even though we it's a valley in the summer it's hot like we don't go out in the summer during the day but summer nights we go out but right now it's so cold it's been snowing and helling i end up freaking i end up sliding on black ice and hitting the freaking median not the median whatever those like on the freeway the the concrete like wall basically i end up hitting it and smashing the side of my car in. You guys, I'm so devastated. And to fix it, it's going to cost an arm and a leg. So I'm debating on if I should just um, trade, it, trade it up and get a new car. Or I don't know what I want to do yet. So... That's where I'm at right now. But, and the crazy thing is, I was driving so slow. It wasn't like my normal smashing down the freeway. I was driving so slow. I was exiting off the freeway. Literally going like, like 19, 20 miles an hour, like nothing. And I just go over the black ice and it just slid my car right into the wall I was like oh my god thank god no one was around because I was on my way to work and I go to I have to be at work at 5 so I was it was like 4 20 in the morning like 4 30 and um so the roads at that time are empty um I see like five cars six cars on my way to work so thank god there was no one around Cause I, I could have slid in to hit someone but so that's new with me so 
So the place we're going is called On The Record. That's it. And um, it's supposed to be like popping. It's supposed to be like cool, chill, like nice music. I normally not into lounges, but I have, I used to be the girl that goes out all the time and be on the scene and I haven't gone out in months. So all my friends are like, where are you? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm hiding from this weather. But I did decide to go out tonight. Is this Smashbox primer and my, what is it? My surviving winner. I could not find this Smashbox primer anywhere. So it's called Primerize. It's really, really good primer. Micro needling facial and I did vlog it. So I will be putting a video up soon about my experience with it. So I don't want to tell you too much about it, but it's, it has been like about a week. And if you want to know about my experience, stay tuned for that video. Okay. Primers on. Since it is Rihanna's birthday, it was yesterday. I believe it was the 20th. Today's the 22nd. So it was about two days ago. So we'll dedicate this Get Ready With to Rihanna. So happy birthday, Riri. Because, you know, I'm obsessed with Riri. So, I'm going to go ahead and use her foundation. I'm in shade 36. And I did mix a little of my NARS moisturizing. Um, it says Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. The Fenty is a little bit too dry for my skin. I do have naturally dry skin. So, it is a little bit too dry. But I love the coverage and I love the color. So, that's why I mixed a little bit of a tinted moisturizer in there. So, it can just... Instead of being so matte, it can help hydrate my skin. So I did mix the two right here on the back of my um, tray. Sorry, it's messy. But anyways, I did mix it here on the tray and I'm going to be using that on my skin. I'm going to use that with a foundation brush. If I can find the one I want, a clean one. Mix it with a foundation. I'm going to use this foundation brush um, F60 from Sigma. Put this on. I normally don't like foundation brushes, but that brush is the only, this foundation brush is the only one that's clean in my, um, and out of all my brushes, which I have a bazillion brushes. <laughs> yeah. I am going to go over it with like a wet beauty blender just to make sure there's no streaks or lines. But So I'm just carving my brows with the mixture that I put on my face. So that's the Fenty with my moisturizer. Trust me, I know it looks streaky right now. I will be going over it with the sponge. I'm still covering my brows. Sorry, my camera just died. And let's move, let's get back into the groove of things. I had to plug it in. But you know what, guys? You know what I'm really upset and I'm thinking about right now? is freaking Jesse Smollett. Like, who else is so upset with him? Like, he just killed, he just killed it for us. Like, right now, Black History Month, everything. Like, honestly, I, I completely don't understand why he did that. I know he said because his salary, he wanted to get paid more or whatever. There is nothing to make me, pay me to do that. Now he's like the laughing stock. He didn't just make himself look bad. He made the black community look bad and the LTBG community. Like, you just made us all look like scum. I'm so, I'm so upset. We already get it. We already have people say black people are, um, crooks, criminals, 
we're this, we're that, we're thugs, we're gangsters, we get... Imagine, like, the people that actually go through that. Like, getting harassed by Trump supporters or just because he just because he lied and said that happened to him doesn't mean that doesn't actually happen in real life people that does happen in real life so now when the people actually when people that it, it has actually happened to people are not gonna look at them crazy like yeah right another Jesse Smollett it's just oh it makes me so upset Honestly, I don't know. What do you guys think about the whole Jesse Smollett thing? I think there's something going on. Bigger than just Jesse Smollett. Because there was so many things happening in the world and everybody's focused on Jesse Smollett so I don't know and it's just like a lot of drama this week the whole thing with Jordan Woods with Kylie Jenner's man if she did that she's dumb she's dumb too what's going on with black women what, what's going on with, what's what's going on with us black people took this month like, it's like Black History Month and they just want to act up. So I'm just taking a damp sponge. Normally I use my beauty blender, but I don't know where my beauty blender is. So I'm just taking this sponge, which I just use on my clients, and I wet them. They're just disposable wet sponges. And I'm just making sure there's no streaks. No harsh lines. And there's like bigger things in the world to think about than him freaking scamming the world for freaking salary increase. Like if I was him, I'll be ashamed of myself. Like. I'm obsessed with this concealer. It's my... Um, Fenty concealer. I'm in shade 360 in the concealer. No, this is not 360, is it? 350. My bad. It's 350. Cause 360 is actually my shade, and the that concealer was a no go. Sorry guys for my last video. The one, um, the surviving winner. I recorded that with my studio lights on dim so I looked freaking dark but can I re-record it so that's why so it looked like the room was kind of black or I looked black or like kind of like but it wasn't too bad it was just a little bit a little bit rough that day what else was going on That's pretty much it in the world, right? Nothing else that I can think of. So. Yeah. Who else is sick of that Tatiana song? Like, if, <laughs> if I have to hear that song one more time, and I'm going to shoot someone. It's everywhere. I'm like, how many times is Tatiana going to bust it down? <laughs> like, I'm so sick of that song. It's super catchy, don't get it wrong. And it's it's a cool song, but it's everywhere. And I'm sick of people saying selfie-anas and all this other stuff. Anas, every other thing is honest. I'm like, oh my god. I sound like a hater right now, but that song is like everywhere. I mean... Can we get another song? Cream Contour is the Lori Infallible number um, 112. And I'm just gonna put this on the back of my sponge and I'm gonna cream contour with that. I 
go ham with contouring especially cream contour it's like everything I like this contour this foundation for contouring because it's has like a red tone and I like that red reddish tone look for my contour okay so now that that's all done I can set it since we're using Fenty I might as well use her powder I'm Going on my eyelids just to set the um, concealer that we put on the eyelids. Yeah, so it's a, and I'm putting it on the like, on the like flat on the brush, so I'm like using it to pat in. So I'm not moving any of that like I'm not moving any of the concealer. It's staying where it is, and I'm just like pressing it into the skin. So similar to like. A makeup sponge where you're pressing it in and then I'm just sweeping it away And then I'm going to take my Fit Me and then set the rest of my face. This Fit Me is a little, it's like my skin tone. It's like close to my skin tone. I used to bake with this, but it's too dark. See how much darker it is? It's like, I'll show you. So the Fenty Yellow versus the, see how it's a big difference. So I use this one under my eyes and then this one too set my face okay i'm gonna use this one okay so now that i got my face set i can go in with my bronzer and further contour my face with my bronzer. I'll be using is my CoverGirl bronzer. An ebony bronze. I don't know if I want I'm not definitely not gonna vlog me at the club, but I was thinking about doing like a quick like not like I'm not gonna vlog the whole thing, but like a quick vlog so you can see what I like, what we're doing, what we're up to, or maybe I might like at the end of this video, um, insert a few of my snaps so you can see what it look is what it's looking like. But I need to hurry up because this is about to be time to go, and I haven't even did my eye makeup. Face is everything to me. I'd rather have like a clean, like bomb, bomb face and then somewhat eyes. Like if my face is done and my hair is done, I'm good. Like eye makeup, can, I cannot have it. I don't really care that much about eye makeup. But my face, I have to like go all out. It's this. QAF color pop palette. I don't know if you can see that. If you're washing out, it's dirty. But I'm gonna take one of these colors. It doesn't oh the names are on the back. Okay. So I'm gonna take this color called Butter Butter Cake. It's this color here. And I'm gonna use that for my blush.
and give me some pink cheeks. I'm just using a fan brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. Okay. Yeah, I like that as the blush. Next, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this fan brush, different fan brush, and I'm going in with that spilled shade, and I'm gonna use it as a highlight. Hope it's not too much. It'll be extra. Ooh, it's a little bit, a little bit gold. I'll see that. I'm blinding the kids. I don't know if that's a good thing right now. Okay, so I'm gonna take that same brush, and I'm gonna put mischief mischief it's this dark color in the palette so i'm gonna pick that up on that same brush and i'm gonna put that all over the eye let's see it's definitely pigmented Definitely about to have a smoke eye. And I'm rounding it instead of winging it out. And I'm going to leave the harsh line in and I'm going to go under the eye with the same brush. Under my eye with the same brush. I'm going to connect them in the corner, connect it here, okay, I know it looks like a mess, we're going to use the other shades and we're going to blend out. Okay, take the same brush and go in underneath the eye, sorry if I'm out of frame. Okay, make sure the corners are connected and I'm going to grab this Morphe brush. There's no number. And I'm going to grab Louie, this shade here in the palette. And I'm going to blend out all the edges all the way around with that color. See how it's, you see the difference, come on now. Just keep blending, you'll see it changing dramatically. Okay, let's start blending the other side out. I'm just doing windshield, like, circle of motions, flick at the wrist, and then I just go like that. And I'm just doing that right on that line where the shadow starts. I'm just blending that out. Okay. Next, I'm liking this eye look. Next, I'm just gonna wipe some of the eyeshadow off and I'm gonna pick up shade Cramps, can't cramps. This shade here, on the same brush. I'm just gonna blend out. So we blend out that first line. Now we have this second color. We're gonna blend out that color. And we're just gonna take a wash of that through, like right on the edge here. Yeah. 
like all the way around on the edge of that second color. I'm not gonna redip it. There's enough on the brush. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's like it's cute. Like heart, the shade here. Okay. I'm just gonna just put it on the lash line to give it some depth. It's only adding a little bit of color. And I'm not taking it, I'm just stopping right at my lash line. I'm not winging it out or anything. I'm just, just the lash line. I'm just making it a little bit darker. Okay, I'm taking it under the lower lash line and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going right up next to my lashes, like at the top. Right up here. Yeah, that like made it look so much better. Put, should I do this color? On the inner tear duct for my inner tear duct highlights. And I'm gonna use that with this little brush from BH Cosmetics. It's just like a little flat brush. Debating on the color. Or should I do yellow? Like a cute inner yellow one. What should I do, guys? Or should I do the gold? Because I have the gold on my cheeks. So I can tie it all together. I'll do the gold. Put a little bit of gold on the brush. Yeah. That gold is pretty. Blend it in. Perfect. Well, I think about what lip I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put my mascara on. So, okay, so right now I'm in my, I used to film in my dining room and now I'm transforming my guest room. So I'm in my guest room now into a makeup studio. I was wondering what you guys like to see like a room transformation or do you think no like yay or nay on that thank god i wore a dark eyeshadow I just smudged my corner of my eye but yeah so what do you guys think room transformation because i want to transfer the whole room into like a cute makeup studio and Let's move on recording it. Disposable lip wands, and I'm gonna use the NARS lipstick and fair. This color looks like almost identical to the shade on my eye. I'm just putting the lipstick on the wand. I always use the wand these wands when I have like a little bit I have a little bit of cold and I always use lip wands when I'm sick when I use lipstick because I don't want to pass germs Then I want it. I want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to use Satan all over. I'm going to leave this other color to give it some pink to it. And then I'm just going to put Satan on a lip wand. Put quite a bit. Oh, 
Way more. What do you guys like? Yeah. So, let me add my hydrating spray. Get rid of all that cakiness. Get ready with me. All done. Yay. Do I have any? Nope. No lipstick on my teeth I got through this video and if you like this get ready with me give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be part of this family and hit that notification bell so you can get notified of any future videos of mine thank you for being with me and I hope you have a blessed day bye guys have a good night I am gonna put some clips of me tonight at the end Hope I don't get too ratchet, but stay tuned for those after. Bye guys.